the block semantics. To see how this works, we will need to add under the material app the show semantic debugger through. By doing this, you will see that the application will look like this. After what we will need to do is create a boolean is show that we will set as false. Inside the UI, we will have a column. This column will have inside the outline it button. This will have a child text click and a function on press that will set state and say that the is show is equal to true. And now you will see the button with the blue semantics. Under the outline and button, we will say if is show is true, then we will show a card. This one will have the color orange and the child will be a sized box with the width 200. The child will be a column. And inside this column, we will have a text. This is a card and a text button. And when we press on it, this will set state and trigger the is show is now equal to false. If I click on the button, this will open the sized box with the text button inside. It's now time to use the block semantics. So we will find the card and we will wrap this with the block semantics. The argument blocking will either be true or false. Now you can see that if I press on the button, this will trigger the block semantic of the sized box and will hide the semantic of the outlined button. I will go back inside the material app and remove the show semantics debugger. The application looks like this. You can click on the button and in real life, you will still see the outline and button, but the semantics over it will not be accessible. Some people will use a voice assistant to explain what happened on the screen. And the semantics can be used to tell the user what is on the screen right now. So this widget can be very useful for people that use a voiceover to understand what happened on the screen.